thinking about moving to Long Beach, California? Before you make the move, watch this video as I share with you the things I wish I knew before moving here 14 years ago. Stay tuned to the end to find out why knowing this one thing may have changed my mind. I wasn't aware that Long Beach is such a large city. It's the 36th largest city in the United States and the seventh largest in California. It has the country's second largest shipping port and there's oil here too. You'll see the rigs offshore. Hi, I'm Lauren Friedman, your neighborhood realtor. Welcome to my Living in Long Beach YouTube channel, the go-to real estate channel for everything you need to know about living here in Long Beach, California. So if you're thinking about moving to Long Beach, either now or in the future, please contact me or click the link below. Now onto the seven things I wish I knew before moving here. Number one, I wish I knew you can't surf the waters of Long Beach. You can, however, find very good surfing close by. Long Beach used to be a surfing hotspot, but in the 1940s, a breakwater was constructed to create a protected harbor for the Port of Long Beach by calming the waters and improving the navigation in the area. While it certainly has had a positive impact on shipping and harbor operations, surfing isn't what it used to be. You can surf Seal Beach, Sunset Beach, Bolsa Chica, Huntington Beach, and points further north and south as well. Plus, if you're like our family, you want to surf and ski in the same day. So you can get to Mountain High, Mount Baldy, Mount Waterman, Mammoth, and Big Bear in just from like one to a few hours. Number two, I wish I knew there were so many different neighborhoods and home styles. Believe it or not, Long Beach consists of over 50 neighborhoods and communities with 18 historic districts that contribute to their own unique character to the city. Walk a few blocks and chances are you could be in a different neighborhood. Of course, prices will vary from neighborhood to neighborhood. Belmont Heights, for example, is mostly craftsman bungalows with a mix of other architectural styles sprinkled throughout, Victorian, Spanish colonial revivals, and much more. These are just a few of the very different styles of architecture and neighborhoods you can find in Long Beach. Number three, I wish I knew that you needed a sweater almost every day. Moving from Chicago, I was excited never to wear a jacket again. However, the weather in Long Beach changes within hours, so you have to be prepared with a sweater around your waist or in your car. Long Beach has an average high of 68 to 82 in the spring and summer and 58 to 73 in the fall and winter. It will often be cool in the morning, but hit 80 plus degrees by noon and then be cool again at night. The good news is you can have a beach bonfire or a backyard fire pit with family and friends. I also wish I knew about the marine layer. People here call it May gray or June gloom, and it means the morning socked in by a chilly, damp fog that usually burns off by mid to late morning, and then the day proceeds to be another sunny, and wonderful day here. Take it as our chance to snuggle up inside since we don't get much rain or cold weather. Wish I knew that nearly everyone in Long Beach has a dog. In fact, we have parks dedicated to dogs and their owners, 12 to be exact. Most feature spaces with both large and small dogs, benches for owners, free waste bags, and water fountains. Long Beach even has dog parades. One of the most popular is the annual hot Halloween dog parade. This attracts lots of canines in creative costumes. Number five, I wish I knew that we had so many top rated schools in Long Beach. If you have school aged children, check out greatschools.org. When I moved here, I was focused on two or three schools that I thought were the best. Over the years, many new and specialized schools have opened and existing schools have been getting even better and better. Long Beach is a school of choice district, meaning that each school has a local home school, but if you wanna to go to a different school, you do have the option to apply there. Number six, I wish I knew that when you move to your vacation spot, you don't need to go anywhere to vacation. Of course you can, and we do, you just don't need to. It's 30 minutes to Disneyland and an hour to Universal Studios. It's under two hours to Legoland and super close to many outdoor concert venues as well. 
For example, the Hollywood Bowl and the Greek Theater, two of my personal favorites. Number seven, I wish I'd known that the houses here are smaller than in other parts of the country, yet cost more. I found that some people aren't happy with that transition to a smaller home. But for me, I'm good with a smaller home as we spend lots of time outdoors. Homes here don't have basements for storage or to use as a recreation room. That works out okay because what we do have is sunshine. So if you love spending time outside in your yard, at the beach, walking the neighborhood, you'll love Long Beach. With no snow and little rain, we're able to be outside every day. And you don't need much interior space. Patios and backyards function as living spaces, and many have their equipped like living rooms and dining rooms. So Long Beach is one of the most affordable beachfront cities in Southern California. It is truly a best kept secret. People from Los Angeles and other areas are moving here and driving up prices, but it's still more affordable than other beach cities. So if you're thinking about moving to Long Beach and want an exclusive list of preferred properties, email me at lauren at laurenfriedmanhomes.com. I work with sellers and buyers in Long Beach and surrounding areas, and I can help you determine which areas you might like best. I'm always happy to be a resource. You can also call or text me.